Hi guys, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another fashion video. Today's video is going to be really fun. I have like 10 new in like winter pieces and I'm going to show you the 10 ways I would style them. We have everything, dresses, coats, boots. This is going to be a great one. So make sure to give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Without further ado, let's get into my 10 new in winter pieces and how I would style them, starting with my outfit of the day. All right guys, so let's get into my outfit of the day. On my lip is Modest Matte by Absolute New York. A lot of you ask about this lip color, it's very natural. The earrings are Chanel. Let's get into my first new end piece, which is this dress that I'm wearing. It's an off the shoulder dress. I love the design of it. It is a knit dress. It's kind of like a beige and gray mixture of knit. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a midi dress by the brand Elliot. Um, I haven't ever heard of this brand, but when I saw this dress, I had to have it. It's long sleeve, super warm. I am wearing the size medium. The medium fits perfectly. I'm normally a size six. And to kind of style it up, I styled it with a pair of beige, kind of off-white fringe boots. Um, these are a low-heeled boot that I actually got from a sample sale here in New York City during the summer. Um, so if you want to know more about sample sales and I will take you to a few, definitely check out my older vlogs that have sample sale in the title. You can easily just go to my main YouTube page. There's a search bar. Just put in sample sale and it will bring up all the videos that include sample sales. But yes, absolutely love these boots. Fringe is definitely in for 2022. And I'm just loving the way that this outfit came together. This dress is definitely a new end piece. Go with your normal size. It's absolutely beautiful. Of course, it has like a stretchy band around the shoulders here. If you do raise your arms, they are gonna pop up, but like, look. I'm gonna be like this the whole video, so. Hmm. So that is look number one, styling this brand new Elliott dress. I have linked it down below. The boots are definitely sold out, but I will link a few similars. I know Jeffrey Campbell has come out with some chocolate brown fringe boots and boots that are actually the exact same color as the ones you see me wearing here. Oh, and my scent of the day, because I do want to start including my scent of the day in, included in my sit down videos, is Tay Noir 29 by Le Lavo. It smells incredible incredible mixed with gentle fluidity gold the mixture of those two you guys incredible i wore it out to dinner the other night i got so many compliments when i got into my uber my uber, uber driver was like wow whatever you're wearing smells incredible so that combination of those two perfumes divine and if you haven't checked out my perfume favorites video and vlog watch that next guys so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the nine looks and nine new in pieces by the way if you watch my previous video of the things that you should buy this month a lot of these things I feature in that video and I'm just getting them in watch that next if you want to know what to buy for the month of February 2022 okay so I had to write everything down <laughs> But let's get into look number two. So look number two, I am styling up a new end piece from Skims. It is a, a wet look one piece bodysuit. Absolutely love it. So here it is. It is that beautiful wet look bodysuit and kind of like a mocha brown. It's almost the color of my skin. It does have a zipper that goes up the back and it is in fact a thong bodysuit with snaps on the bottom. I love this bodysuit. I loved it so much. I also bought it in like the black soot color. This actually isn't black. It's more like a deep, 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 deep chocolate brown almost, but absolutely loving those. So how I styled this with a pair of DL 1961 denim jeans. Absolutely love these jeans. They're in heavy rotation every fall and winter. I love them because the ends of them are kind of frayed and kind of distressed. And I love kind of how they're a little bit cropped. So if you wear a really nice boot, you could show off the boot. And that's exactly what I wanted to do here because I paired them with a pair 
of nine west brown suede boots i've had these boots forever i have them in a few different colors this is like the kind of ash brown color but i also have them in a white and black hopefully they're still available if so i'll link them down below and you can go with your normal size and then for the outerwear i paired it with this faux fur like trench coat that i got from asos or asos many 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 years ago like this coat when it first came out everybody knew about it everybody had this coat it even comes in like a shorter version as well this coat is super old but if it's if i can find it anywhere online i know asos kind of sometimes comes out with different versions of this coat i will link it down below but really this bodysuit is everything it comes in a ton of different like skin colors and this is definitely a great investment for winter you could dress this up you could dress this down you can even wear this in the fall as well as long as it's nice and layer it works perfectly for winter so that is the first piece that i got in this skims wet look bodysuit and how i styled it with a few pieces already in my wardrobe let's go ahead and get into look number three so look number three might be my favorite because it's one of my favorite new end pieces that i styled which is this multicolored suede coat from the brand Rixo um, that I got a few weeks ago. I actually made a reel featuring this coat. So if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, definitely check me out. It's at Monroe Steel on Instagram as well as on TikTok if you want to see my fashion outfit reels. You don't have to wait until this video gets recorded because look, Let's just face it, it's easier to create content in short form than long form. So if you want the deets and you want them first, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok. This Rixo suede coat is a dream. Um, the way I styled it was with a super cozy dress, super affordable from Nasty Gal. I showed you all this dress recently in a haul, super affordable, under 20 bucks. Go with your normal size. I'm wearing a size medium. To kind of give the dress some shape because it is up and down, I paired it with my Louis Vuitton utility belt that I got for Christmas. It's a beautiful, beautiful belt. I got it in the size 80. For the shoes, I went with another new in item that I'm styling for the first time and it is these patent leather deep, deep brown boots from the brand Mista. That's M-I-I-S. TA. I absolutely love these. They're giving Western, they're giving modern, they're giving fabulous. And I pretty much love how this entire outfit came together. I actually wore this out to get drinks with a friend a few nights ago and he loved my outfit. Loving this look. With the jacket, I got it in a size medium. It fits perfectly. Again, I'm normally a US size six. This, this jacket is pretty pricey, but there are a few places online that have it for significantly less. So anywhere I can find it online, I will link it down below, as well as these new in boots from Mista, which I believe are currently on sale. They are true to size. I am a US size 10. I got the 41. They fit perfectly. They are very, very comfortable. Um, so that is look three, absolutely loving look three. That might be my favorite. By the way, go ahead and keep in mind which of these outfits are your fave and let me know down in the comments. Let's get into look four and new in item four. All right, guys, let's get into look number four, which includes this new in dress. It is a white knit halter top dress from the brand Significant Other, which is one of my favorite dress brands. You guys, it is absolutely stunning. I've been in the market for a really good halter dress for a while. And the way I styled this is with the same fringe Altazura boots that I'm wearing with this dress. I mean, these boots just go with everything. And I love how the dress is a little longer, but you can still see that hint of fringe down at the bottom. And then for the coat, I went with my new in Zara coat. So not only is this dress new in, the coat from Zara is new in as well. I mean, you guys, this coat is everything. Look at this collar. And by the way, this collar is removable. The fabric of this coat is, I believe, an Italian wool. It's a beautiful color. I mean, it's 
it screams luxurious and I really do love that this collar is removable. This was one of the items that was in my previous video of things you need to buy this month. Um, this coat was $250 but I feel like that's such a wonderful price because this coat is everything and it will definitely be in my wardrobe for many many years absolutely stunning in the coat i got a size medium in the dress i got a size medium and this is just a beautiful classic look especially if you love a good monochrome look very you know chic it's giving chic i will link all of these things down below and you can check them out all right guys let's get into look number five and the fifth new in piece well probably like six by now but it is this stunning knit off the shoulder sweater dress by aritzia you guys i wish you could see the quality of this is just absolutely incredible i got it in the size medium and it fits like a dream again this was included in my video things you should buy for the month of february i love the length of this it is absolutely so soft um i haven't shopped much at aritzia if at all lately i've been hearing good things so i purchased this dress online and it's just stunning now the way i styled it is with my parton boots in the beautiful caramel color you guys know I absolutely love these boots by Stuart Weitzman. They are true to size. They have a really kind of funky shape and the leather is so supple yet stiff. So they're going to stay up on your legs, which I really like. They're absolutely great. And for the outerwear, I went with my brown trench coat. It's the oversized trench coat from none other than Nasty Gal. You guys know I bought this trench coat in this brown color. I also bought it in a like taupe color you guys nasty gal is it if you need a good trench coat definitely check them out i went with my normal size which is a u.s size six it does fit oversized it fits more like an eight even though it's a six so just keep that in mind you could go with your normal size so that is look five with this new in aritzia off the shoulder gray knit dress uh now that i've like shopped at aritzia i have to do some more shopping because this is good. It, it's the quality for me. All right, love. So for look number six, there was no way I could do this video and not include my brand new Alexander McQueen skirt. It's absolutely stunning. I'm telling you, if you're not watching my vlogs, you're missing a lot of my new in hauls because I prefer to put my hauls inside of vlogs instead of just making haul videos um, because, yeah, I just... <laughs> That's what I prefer to do. If you haven't seen this, that just means you haven't watched my vlogs. But you guys, this is stunning. This is new in. I got this in recently from, I believe, Net-A-Porter. Ugh, such a stunning skirt. My first Alexander McQueen piece. I paired it with a Frankie Shop muscle tee. You guys know those muscle tees were really in, the padded ones. And then for the shoe, I went with my Alexander Wang shield i think they're called list boots i've had these boots forever i always forget that i have them i need to wear them more often because they are sickening i love these boots um and then for the outerwear i paired it with an old trench coat from zara that's actually kind of a khaki green color and it's also two-tone with blue denim so it really matched the skirt to a T, and I already had in my mind to pair the two together before I even bought this skirt. Every time I wear that trench coat, I get so many questions about it. It's an oldie, but a goodie from Zara. Like it's maybe two years old. Literally, sometimes you can find some gems at Zara. In this skirt, I got my normal size, which is an Italian 42. Yes, an Italian 42, which is a US size six. I'm not sure if I can find this skirt. I tried to look for it, but I think this one is sold out. But there are tons of other Alexander McQueen skirts made of this same fabric that I'll link down below. I believe they have a full skirt in this green without the denim. Love the fullness of the skirt. I love how this outfit came together. I feel like the black of the Frankie Shop 
tee and then the black and the alexander wayne boots kind of pulled everything together this is definitely an outfit that has the potential to be worn during fashion week so we shall see um anything that's still available from this look i will link down below in the description box or i will link similars let's get into number seven on the list which is my brand new ronnie kobo open back sweater i showed you guys this in a recent mini luxury haul inside of a vlog but i got this from intermix and i absolutely love it i wish i would have gotten a size medium because the large is really large but i tied the back ties up good enough so that it stays on well and the way that i styled this button up kind of cardigan sweater was with a pair of waxed brown good american jeans and i mean they are waxed and they are they suck you in now this is why you should not get rid of all of your skinny jeans because skinny jeans work really well with like a knee high boot or an over the knee boot other kind of jeans you cannot tuck into your boots like it just doesn't work so you should definitely keep some of your skinny jeans on hand i've had these for a while um i went with my normal size which was a six when they came they looked really small like they wouldn't stretch but they do and then for the shoe i went with my tamara melon icon boots in gray you guys these boots i hope you guys got them when i got them last year or the year before last and told y'all to get them because they are the best boots they are so high they are so sexy they make any look um and i actually paired this look with my celine pillow bag old celine i've had this bag for a while i loved it so much i bought it twice if you didn't watch that video <laughs> in my handbag collection watch that because i ended up buying this bag two times once i bought it i didn't wear it enough and so i sent it back and then i ended up buying it when i bought these boots because i was like these are a match made in heaven so that is my new in ronnie kobo sweater that i got from intermix go with your normal size do not size up do not size down your normal size will work perfectly with this open back sweater i will link this down below along with anything else from this look that is still available next up i'm going to be styling another pair of mr boots for you all but these are these stunning buttery yellow boots from mista now the way i styled these is with this sweater dress from heart loom which is a pretty affordable brand i actually got this dress from marshall's but i've seen it online in other places like revolve i got my normal size which was a u.s size medium i also did a blog post recently featuring this dress but this dress is stunning it has yellow in it it has brown in it it has like a taupe in it so you can really play with those colors and so pairing it with these boots was an absolute no brainer um i love how it came together the yellow in the boots really kind of pick up the yellow in the dress um i went with my normal size in these boots again i'm us size 10 i got a 41 the 41 fits perfectly and for the outerwear i went with an asos or asos two-toned trench coat uh you guys i absolutely love this trench coat i love the two-tone the two different tones kind of pick up the different colors in the dress as well i um, mean it has a really nice belt it ties it really cinches in the waist gives you a really nice hourglass figure and then the slit in the dress kind of shows off the shoes and shows the little leg love this look i believe aso still has this jacket so i would definitely link the dress the jacket and the boots down below because i believe they are all still available but that is how i would style my new in mr boots for winter let's get into look nine which features this bodysuit that is new in from the brand alex nyc i actually showed this bodysuit to you all recently in a recent vlog i love how it has these little holes for your thumbs I actually wore this to a Caribbean restaurant in one of my recent vlogs to Omar's kitchen and you guys loved it it's made of this beautiful jersey material very stretchy you can go with your normal size and what I love about this brand is that they really are embodying the whole cutout moment that's going on with fashion right now cutouts are in and they have a ton of different bodysuits with all kinds of super cool cutouts that are not overtly sexy but demure 
but still with cutouts. I mean, I love their bodysuits. I will link a few of my favorites down below from the brand. Got this from Farfetch, and I believe I have a code with them. It is still 10, all capital letters, for a 10% off of your first order. But the way I styled this is with this beautiful brown velvet skirt from Margiela. I've had this skirt for a while. I've been trying to figure out different ways to wear it, and I absolutely love it it's pretty old but if i can find similars i'll link it down below i got my normal size which is a 42 italian for this shoe i went with a pair of stod mini heeled boots um in a beautiful kind of caramel brown these boots are still all over the internet they're everywhere they also come in black great for when you want a really sophisticated boot but not something that's too tall and I love the way this look came together. But I definitely wanted to add a pop of color and so I added my blue satin tibby trench coat to this look. I feel like a really deep, deep brown or a velvet brown and blue, that color combination goes together so well for fall as well as for winter. I mean, I feel like this is just like a pop of color. So I really love how this look came together. I will link everything that's still available down below. But definitely get into the bodysuits. They're amazing. Get them while they're on sale now and rock them into the fall and winter later this year. All right, guys. So last but not least, we have outfit number 10, which is me styling these new in sweaty Betty stirrup leggings. Now, I know a lot of you said to leave the leggings in the past, but leggings are a thing. And let me tell you, so many brands are making these that are so much more expensive. I love these because they are fleece on the inside and super warm and stretchy, kind of a neoprene material. Um, and they're kind of elevated because they do have a lovely pleat down the front. But H&M has these in every single color also with the pleat so that, so that they are a little more elevated and I believe they're less than 20 bucks. So I'll link those as well as these Sweaty Betty ones down below. I paired these with a nice pump, my Jimmy Choo's, which are a nice kind of blush color. Um, and I put the, the string on the outside. I thought that that was really, really cool. And then I just paired it with an oversized balloon knit sweater. I've had this sweater for years. It is from NA-KD online. They have a ton of amazing sweaters. Um, and then I just really love how this look came together. Of course, I can throw a trench coat over top for additional warmth. Probably my favorite one is from and other stories. It's the hourglass black wool trench coat. They don't have this anymore. I don't believe it was definitely a Balenciaga like dupe. There are some amazing black coats online that I will link down below instead. And so that is how I would style my new end item number 10, which isn't so new because I've styled these a few times, but I just wanted to give you guys some options for how to style stirrups because they're not going anywhere. Sorry, they're not. All right, guys, so those are 10 new in items, 10 ways I would wear them for winter. Let me know down in the comments which look was your favorite of how I would style them. This is how I would style them. I know these videos are subjective, but I love how all of the outfits came together. If you would like to see more videos like this, or if you enjoyed today's video, please do give me a thumbs up. I would love to get at least 4,000 likes or thumbs up on this video. It'll help to push it out so more people can see. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, I would love to have you join the family. Please be one of the 40,000 people it's gonna take me to get to 100,000, which is my goal for 2022. Also hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.